We got AM6 here on Team Red with Jen in the back playing as a worgen, but looking like human. I uh, take that as a worgen, aren't the humans also gonna get a lot of the customization options? So can't you have like your human form look one way and worgen form look the other? Well, how's that gonna work? We got us this moon frosty here as well. I wish I was playing a Frost DK deal with a two-hander, but more being Shadowlands. We got us as Ornash here as well with Salad Tosser. Please be out of cat for my stealth unless you're dueling, my man. Appreciate you, my boy. We got us as Metathon Team Blue with Necro, Remura as a Pharaoh. We got us as Thundertooth as a what looks like an Assassination Rogue and Unclean. Two DKs each team. Let's go, boys. And this guy's got to go for a, a little bit of a flight. Yeah, if you guys want to just chill on the stairs on the left side, yeah, you're more than welcome to just chill there. That'll work out. Uh, yo, somebody let uh, Salad Tosser know to be out of stealth and out of careful mostly dueling. Thanks, fam. Just because there's a buff that you can, like, provide if he is running that ability. Looks like Jen is going to get him. <laughs> Immolate onto Remura in the opener of the bat. Trying to see if he can hit him with a bit of a Chaos Bolt. Going to be a leap into an intro by the Feral. It looks like he... You're throwing a bike at him just now? I thought I saw, like, an explosion. Like, not some bolts everywhere. Gonna be another capable trying to get lined up, but Remuro is gonna be able to land a big old stun onto Jen. And Random Infernal dropping in, and Remuro looking like he actually wants to bail the hell out for a second. As Jen so far hasn't taken any damage. So, seriously, get Sal Tosses to come out of cat form. He might be running, uh, uh, what is it, leader of the pack? And that gives Jen on every crit 5% health back, which is not what we intend to. We want the Feral to have that, but we don't really want his team to have that. Because I feel like it's a little too strong of a buff. Remura actually get him blasted by Chaos Bolts back to back. And actually, that might be the end of Remura as he barely has any health. Stun around the corner. Tree gets out of it. It's just trying to get a regrowth rolling as well. Barely actually goes down to just the procs of Azrites. Next up is going to be your boy on clean. With a big old legendary weapon. It looks beautiful to this day, man. Look, they made this thing back and rad, didn't they? This still holds the time of, test of time, unless they updated it a while ago. This is going to be Jen. Getting stunned by the pet for a second. The intro Mortal Call Intro Unclean still doing an absurd amount of damage. And healing. Ordash! Tell the Feral to get out of the for please! I think Genesis is getting massive heals just over all those crits, dude. Unclean is just not in a good spot anymore, man. So much health has been drained. I just tried to get a big old grip onto Jen. And not gonna happen. And Jen so far is surviving. Not really sure by legit means or not. We're gonna hope it's legit means, boys. But yeah, it might be a little, might be a little, a little rough. I, I guess no one's gonna, no one's gonna give the memo. Ornash, Moon, M6, can you be a boy and tell him to get out of cat from, please? Thank you, dude. Just, just please. Out of cat from, that's all he needs to do. Leader of the pack and all. It's gonna be Manitho trying to see if he can get some dots up and running onto Jen. It's gonna go for a greater fate for a second before a case bolt was gonna come out. Still second case bolt is gonna be lined up by Jen. Slamming Manitho, doing quite a bit of damage. Try to get a second one up and running. Not gonna happen. As it goes for Shadow Fury around the corner. Manitho. So you should be looking pretty safe. He has a lot of crowd control to really deal with Jen. Actually, look like you need to just stop your own uh, VT for a second. It's gonna so hard to twist an appendage with Jen. He's gonna try to line his side. Try to get a big old Chaos Bolt as the Succubus CC comes out. What was that Chaos Bolt while Succubus CC was on? Juice Succubus CC while the Chaos Bolt was midair because that first Chaos Bolt did not break Succubus CC at all with a Mortal Core right after. Manitha still hasn't popped massive cooldowns just yet. It still has a lot to work with. I give up. I give up, dude. But in the future, boys, cats be out of cat for Melissa and Dueling, yeah? It's gonna be a random inferno we'll drop it down to Manitha. He actually goes for Greater Fade. Looking like he might want to set up a fear onto Jen. Does he get to? He walks up to Jen, gets the silence off, could be lined aside by Jen. Goes actually for the sequence you see, but then Infernal is going to stop it with a disperse to follow. That's gonna be quite a lot of healing for the Shadow Priest while he's got it stun onto Jen. Has a trinket if he wants to, but not really feeling like he's in trouble yet. I guess once he's really in trouble, then he'll do something about it. Gonna drop down a big old Inferno on top of Manitha's head. Mind Control coming out before! Right before the big old- Oh yeah, it actually stopped the pets from attacking! Mind Control stopping the Chaos Bolt and stopping the pets from just wailing on your Jen still has plenty of damage to go. Try to get a stun. Does get a stun on the Manitha. He has nothing to answer here! And that's gonna be a big old Chaos- Big old Chaos Bolt to follow. Thundertooth is going to be up next as an assassin going to hit with a second to see, but it's going to be broken by Infernal. Stun onto Jen is going to try to wall his damage. Does go for Destragath against the Warlock. 
That is going to be a split between him and the pets. Free cast build for or the warlock does get a cloak of shadows out of thunder tooth. However, Jen is not in a great spot at all. Does he have a mortal coil to follow? It looks like he does and maybe get a fear onto thunder. Maybe a stun, maybe anything. Trying to get another cast build rolling, but it could be a stun or kidney shot. It is going to be kidney shot out of the road. Could be a kick in time right now. Jen is just taking a lot of damage as the bike comes in. Does get trapped under a fire. Cannibal trying to come out. Dusty gets to use it. Does go for a second as you see. Get a thunder to a super low. Vanish coming out as Cannibal trying to come in. Oh my god. M6 just murked him. Jen is still alive. M6. Oh no. M6. Why? Jen. <laughs> he just murked that rogue. That warlock had such a good run too. And you just murked that rogue. <laughs> that rogue went and used cloak and vanished and everything and he... Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Now M6 is going to be up next. Where's the necro? <laughs> oh jeez. That's going to be fear out of ne onto Necro as M6 trying to see if he can bail away from the army of the dead. That was such a good run for Jen. Actually had a really good run so far. That could have been a, a, a kill that Thundertooth really needed in order to get Jen down. And M6 still could have, you know, he, M6 could have actually, you know, still got that rogue. He could have charged at him as... The Warlock died, but he just did a little too early. That's going to be M6. Try to see if he can get a bit more damage onto the Necro. No chicken available for Necro, though. Does have IBF. Does have uh, Death Pact as well. It looks like he's going to try to go for a little bit of a Necrotic spam or uh, Transfusion spam with Death Strikes. But ever since the nerf, ever since the nerf for the Death Strikes, I mean, Death Knight's still pretty tanky, but they're not quite as healy anymore. It's only like a little bit of a nerf, but it was enough apparently to break him, at least in these duels. I don't really see them going for massive reheals anymore. Which is a little bit of a, a struggle. It looks like Necro is still trying to stay alive. Does he go for even more vision playstyles? Or is he... Because so far he hasn't had a proc for visions yet. So I do wonder what he's running now. M6 popping in a little bit of reflect. But those necrotics still are going to go through that reflect either way. The M6's not going to be able to get a lot of health. It looks like Necro is taking the charge here. M6 having to burn in Rage Regeneration. Needs to get a big charge heal if he wants. So Necro still trying to trying to hamper down the healing that M6 is getting with those Necrotics. Still landing the charge. Big heal. And we got ourselves Nimbus Arch in here. How you doing, Nimbus? Thank you for coming to member. Can we get a hashtag Nimbus in chat? Showing appreciation for wonderful issues. Isn't Nimbus like a Harry Potter thing? That's going to be Nimbus right now. Getting a big old membership here. Make sure to connect your account on Discord, by the way, to get a special role. Thank you so much, Nimbus. Feel free to, uh, to use emotes as often as possible, as often as you want to. Spam them if you wish. As M6 is still trying to survive versus Necro, he did go for a death pack, so he has a little bit of extra health pull. Not going to be able to go for a lot of healing since a lot of it is necrotic doubt. But he's trying to see if he might be able to get enough damage into M6. His necrotic strikes are really not even doing that much pressure into M6 right now. As the Fury Warrior is just relentlely, he's trying to survive as best as possible. Safeguard Trinket is actually going to keep him afloat for just a little longer. Necrotics are going through the shield though. So M6 cannot really get a recovery. He cannot recover. If anything, Necrox is doing a good job of not allowing that. Charge coming in for M6 does get himself a small heal. Transfusion coming out for Necro to follow. It looks like Necro should be able to stay alive here for just a little longer. M6 just not willing to give up. It looks like he's actually trying to overpower Necro, trying to get us out low. Looks like he had a big turn around as a Fury Warrior. Big cooldowns coming out for Necro as a Blaze Storm came out for M6. Does get a Storm Bolt on Necro. Charge, heal, try to stay ahead of the war of the D of the DK. And he actually did it. Look at this man. His beard is on fire. He was so focused, so furious. His beard caught fire. And that's gonna be M6 and Jen. <laughs> Jen got four kills. Wait, did Jen kill the rogue? I think M6 charged the rogue and the gem might have been able to get a comp flag in there or something, right? Maybe? It looked like gem was gonna have a really good run. M6 just kind of stole it from the... <laughs> oh my goodness. No. Wait. Jen had four kills. M6 had one. He can kill the rogue. And he did not kill... Oh, he did kill the DK. Oh yeah, so then it was Jen that killed the rogue. Weird.